talk about prospecting. There are processes that the company needs to do to ensure that they have done their prospecting activities in the best way. In Kitui County, we've made sure that the companies that come in, if they're carrying out prospecting, they're supposed to be carrying one kilogram or two kilograms per sample for, for analysis. We also issue single business permits with strict regulations on what they're supposed to adhere to. And we also give out their consent for them to carry out these activities. Mm. And they must always report to the county on what they've been doing all along within. Mm. So these are ways of monitoring these investors to ensure that they don't do contrary to what they have uh, agreed on. I am in Ngaie area in Mwingi North sub-county, the home to a massive limestone mineral deposits. The mineral stretch vertically is over four kilometers and over a hundred meters deep in this area. Uh, the deposit here is very huge. Uh, we are looking at a deposit of 611 million metric tons of limestone. And this when we translate into currency or US dollars, we are looking at 14 billion US dollars. In Kenyan shillings, we are going up to over 1 trillion Kenyan shillings. Adored with more than 20 kinds of minerals, Kitui's coal stands out with the capacity to sustain Kenya's power industry for more than 100 years. From Mui Hills, your eyes will gaze at a large expanse characterized by open fields of shrubs. These are the coal deposit areas. <laughs> 